Well, a biological big brother, a brand new pill just approved by the FDA, uh, will now track whether people have taken their medications and report back to the patient or the doctor. And while some people um, are on board, others think that it's a privacy violation of, short, of sorts and that it's a little too hard to swallow. And joining us now to discuss is radiologist Dr. Nicole Sapphire. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Heather. So right away, what do you think about it? Good idea, bad idea? Great idea. Mm -hmm. Great idea, but we're going to need some improvements in the future. Okay. Currently, this has been something that's been going on in the works for a few years. The FDA just cleared this new medication, which is aripiprazole, also known as Abilify, used to treat predominantly schizophrenia. And in it is a the size of a sand inside mm -hmm. the tablet is essentially a microchip that'll tell you if the pill makes it to the stomach or not. Because the problem is, I guess, these particular types of patients not taking their medication when they should. Yes, non-adherence or non-compliance in the schizophrenic population is a major concern. Up to 80% of people with schizophrenia don't take their medications appropriately. And what this will actually do is tell the physician if they're taking the medication. Now, it isn't, has not been shown to increase compliance, but one of the biggest causes of medical waste is psychiatrists and physicians changing patients' medications because they think the medications aren't working because the patients are saying, well, we're actually taking the medication. Now there's proof if, or if not the patient is taking the medication. So it would help determine if the medication works or not as well, because you would know if the patient was actually taking it. Correct. But so far, just this one medication being used for this. Do you see this possibly expanding? Well, it has to. I mean, mm -hmm. absolutely. And, you know, as we were speaking earlier during the break, could this be have a role in addiction medicine mm -hmm. and treating narcotics and making sure patients are utilizing medication appropriately? Right. Absolutely. And I'd I'm excited to see where this is going to go. Yeah, because if you could determine if they've taken it, then maybe the next step would be if they've taken too much or they've taken the wrong dosage, that type of thing. That's right, and the way it works is inside of your stomach, mm -hmm. the stomach acids react with it, and it sends a small level pulse to a patch that you wear on your skin, mm -hmm. and that patch transmits to your iPhone. It can go to your physician. You can have it. And also, so the pill coupled with behavioral mm -hmm. modification or therapy where you have positive reinforcements showing that you're taking something, mm -hmm. I think will have great long-term effects. It seems so scary, though. It seems like something right out of a sci-fi movie that someone could actually control your thoughts or what you're doing, you know, you're taking it to an extreme step. I mean, that's just the era we're going into. Everything's yeah. digitized. We have healthcare trackers. In your body. Well, you know, we have virtual colonoscopy. Yeah. We have other methods right now where you actually take a capsule and you, a camera's going through your system. And right. this is just the new generation of healthcare and yeah. tech. All right. Fitbit to the extreme. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Dr. Sapphire, thank you so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for morning. having me. In the United States, copyright law allows for the fair use of copyrighted material under certain limited circumstances without the prior permission from the owner. Under the law, determinations of fair use take into account the purpose of the use, the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount and substantiality of the work used in relation to the work as a whole, and the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Other jurisdictions may have similar copyright provisions protecting fair use or fair dealing. If you are uncertain as to whether a specific use qualifies as a fair use, you should consult a qualified copyright attorney. You have the right to take it down.